Are you ready? Okay, let's go. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Now you're gonna piss him off. <laughs> But, you know... Just... take him, okay? Take Crane! Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Oh dear. I remember all that. Point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Yeah, that toxicosis. Not easy there. Try not to move. <coughs> We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. My arm. <laughs> yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, Big B, don't move it. Stop! Doctor! Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. We're going to set this. For heaven's sake. Oh god, no we're not! Oh. Ah! See now, that wasn't so difficult, was it? That'll do. You're probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. <laughs> Quiet. Just relax. Just shut up. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but... Perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be down in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc. How much longer? Colin. Leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Cause I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. <laughs> Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. 
Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time, he this time was no joke. So Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Don't say stuff like that. Miss White, he'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. <laughs> he knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. I can still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? <laughs> Swiney? Ooh, the sub hype. Master Max just subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. I saw another subscriber. If you guys could post that in the chat for me so I can read it off. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I'll I've seen honest. him take worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. You had us... <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. Yeah, I took a lot of bullets. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out or... Or died, I guess. Don't touch it! Don't! No! It... Um... It kind of scared the hell out of me. She wants I've the D. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... Snow, I'd never leave you. You give the D. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. <laughs> you look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options... I don't think I'd pick Desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder- Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. I let no, no bitch problem. take my man thanks? out. You're not pissed Please. that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? 
What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters, to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk all day. And only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. You think I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself, to justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> Relax, Con. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job me. done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Ah, oh, what the fuck? Why do I have to decide? The phone's ringing. Can I just go answer it? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? The dean. Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. <laughs> She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it. But I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Shit's going down. What up, girl? Oh my god, here we go! That was only the opening. What we going to do? How's everybody doing? How do you guys like, like it, the episode so far? Sheep's clothing. Hi, oh, does not look Sheriff. Like sheep clothing. 
Heiner assigned. Have a seat. On my lap. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> That's probably not the best idea if you're Huff and Puffs. Not many people smoke those. Foreshadowing. Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, but is this going somewhere? Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. I'm... sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? <gasps> mm -hmm. How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Take it off! Rip the ribbon right off her neck and let her talk. Take it off! Mind if I just No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. She's Please. scared! Don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons. You take them off. You die! I thought it said confront her, not comfort her. Oh, if anyone finds out, out, I came here. Bring it out. That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. What are you worried about? Just... please don't say anything. S 
sorry. I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. That's Weird. one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. <laughs> so, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. What did she do? She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Girl, what you got going on? 